Imagine the middle of the winter, it's cold and dark outside, but thanks to automation, you wake up to a warm and bright room with a hot cup of coffee steaming by the side of your bed. This is what you'll learn in this video. Let's get started. All right, you are going to need the following parts, a microcontroller, breadboard and wires, RF receiver and transceiver, a bunch of sensors and something to control. I chose remote controlled outlets, which are basically just wireless relays. I also use a remote controlled LED dimmer. It's important to have all your wireless stuff on the same frequency. Now let's start with something simple, using the Arduino to send wireless signals. I connected the RF receiver to 5 volts ground and the signal pin to digital pin 2 on the Arduino. Then I downloaded the RC switch library and uploaded the receive demo advanced. You can find the library in the video description. Now just open up the serial terminal and press any button on your remote to decode the signals. This is what we'll be transmitting later on. I went ahead and decoded all the buttons and then stored them in a text file for a quick reference. Now let's try and duplicate the remote with an Arduino. Power the transceiver and connect the signal wire to digital pin 10. Open the example send demo and look at line 39 to 42. Here you'll insert the signals you want to transmit. This is what we just decoded and saved from the remote. Upload the sketch and your outlet should start to total at each second. And that's awesome, you just learned how to control outlets from a microcontroller. This will be the basis for your home automation. Let's add some sensors and make the code more interesting. We'll start by controlling a room heater. Here I'm connecting a temperature sensor and the code I'm writing works by constantly reading the temperature in the room and comparing it to the temperatures I prefer. This will in turn send RF signals to the outlet we just learned to control. You can download my code in the video description. Now just plug in the RF outlet between the oven socket and the wall and you've automated the heating in your room as quick as that. Now let's control a light dimmer. I used a photoresistor as a sensor to detect light. The code I'm writing monitors the light level and if the room gets too dark, the Arduino sends the signal to turn on the LED panel. Also, the longer the room has been dark, the code sends signals to increase the brightness. How cool is that? The LED panel will also automatically turn off again when the room gets too bright. Now let's try something a bit more advanced. I'm connecting an RTC, which is a precise way of telling time on microcontrollers. The code I'm writing now looks at the time of day and compares it to the time I want my kettle to turn on. The Arduino will then turn on my kettle each day at 6 a.m., boil the water and switch it off again. I'm using this to start each morning with hot water ready for a cup of coffee. Now check the video description for the latest versions of my code, detailed build instructions and to download the libraries I used. If you appreciated this project, hit that like and subscribe button now. Thank you.